Hello, my name is Isox. And my name is Cheetah. As you can see, it's a beautiful day in April and we are sitting in Cheetah's garden working on the script for the final act of Demon Hunters. There haven't been any updates about the new show yet because we've spent the first couple of months mostly with writing and brooding over technical concepts and there haven't been really any interesting things to show you. But now that we're almost done with the script, pre-production is getting into gear at last and we're finally looking at some exciting new concepts and work in progress pictures that we can share with you. Enjoy. Hello, future Cheetah speaking here. I'm sorry we completely failed to post any production updates in 2019. Demon Hunters turned out to be a very special show and the workload of media production involved did not leave me any time for documentation. But now, with our 2020 show being cancelled, I finally have the time to sit down and put those new episodes together. I will try to keep my presentation at least roughly chronological, but with so many things happening in parallel, I'll definitely jump ahead a bit every now and then for the sake of continuity. The visual character concept phase usually kicks off along the second half of the script writing, when most of the main characters are already well established and unlikely to change. For Alice, the white hair, and Hayes, the spirit wolf, the character designs had to be unusually detailed, at least by our standards. Their exact looks and proportions were essential to the story and the mechanics of the wolf puppet were very complicated. On the other hand, when we found out that we definitely need another custom puppet for the role of Cooper the drummer, pretty late in the writing process, we knew the only way to allow the puppet to be finished in time was to give the makers complete artistic freedom and take all the shortcuts they need. We decided to let Theo use an existing fursuit head design as the base. The only requirement was that Cooper had to be a burly male lion fit to be a drummer in a heavy metal band. This is, by the way, where we were completely different from a commercial production. We neither have time nor money to create a completely fresh cast of puppets or to meticulously design every detail of every character. The visual design of a puppet is only defined to the minimum necessary to express its character and all the details are usually left to the puppet and costume makers. This, of course, adds an element of unpredictability to the design process that a commercial producer would never tolerate. But for us, it just adds to the fun. Mow, mow, mow. Okay. <laughs>